Land, water, air. When you're standing, sitting, swimming, or floating in the middle of nature's playground, you have an all-access pass to choose your own adventure. Go ahead and make friends with the ocean's residents, kayak your way across a crater lake, explore the depths of a world below, zip through the air, groove to the local beach, Cruise your way through a sunset and have all your worries melt away. Choose one or choose all, because this is Negris Oriental and the fun starts here, naturally. The province of Negros Oriental makes up the southeastern half of Negros Island in the central Visayas region of the Philippine archipelago. Negros Occidental, its sister province in the northwest, belongs to the western Visayas region. The entire island is enveloped by water. The Tanyon Strait borders Negros Oriental from Cebu in the east and Siquijor in the southeast, while the Sulu Sea borders the south. Dumaguete City is the provincial capital and commercial hub. For those looking for some fun in the sun and under the sea, especially during the summer, this coastal province doesn't fall short of options. Starting with Apo Island, some 45 minutes from Dawin by boat. Hailed as a diving mecca, the 72-hectare volcanic island has been listed among the top 10 diving sites in the world. With an average total coral coverage of 63% and a vast marine ecosystem below the depths of its pristine waters, it's no wonder why. There's a tranquil charm to the scene of powdery shorelines and arresting rock formations that seduce many to relax on the sands of this island. The irresistible delight in basking in peaceful seclusion, yet never more connected and harmonious with the earth. But those who have ventured beyond its tranquil shores know that the truth to Darwin's beauty exists below the depths of its pristine waters. Apo Island is also home to a community-organized marine sanctuary. Respected globally for its efforts and contribution in biodiversity conservation. This explains why locals and visitors of the island keenly observe strict rules on waste management and other island activities. Resorts on Apple Island, such as the Apple Island Beach Resort, offer their guests diving and snorkeling privileges. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rene. I am the instructor for the trip. First off, let me go over signals. Something's wrong. Point at whatever's wrong. Low on air. Low on air is 50 bar for us. Okay? Snorkelers, this is okay. Distress is a big up and down. Do not be afraid to call for help if anything. This is also okay. Alright? Our snorkeling session is uh, 30 minutes or so. <laughs> and then we will swim slowly to the boat. Maybe the boat will just stay here. We'll just swim back. Certified and experienced divers visit Apo Island to indulge in this underwater experience. Those without a diving license are just as welcome to snorkel and even meet some sea turtles. Divers have fun above water. Well, besides dressing up as pirates and starting their own theme party, they relax, they unwind, they feast, they indulge. Not far from Dawin is a favorite jump off point for many divers. 
The Atlantis Dive Resort offers both the amenities and atmosphere of a tropical refuge for divers and non-divers. Retreat to the comfort and solace of your own private Nipa cottage, mingle with good company, or just soak in that panoramic ocean view. Ah, life's a beach! If spotting friendly sea creatures in the wild sounds like your kind of fun, there's definitely more of that around Negros Oriental. Located some 45 kilometers north of Dumaguete City, Baya City is one of the most renowned dolphin and whale watching sites in the country, in addition to being the cradle of sugar production in the province. The city's name comes from an elongated eel, a native to the area. Legend has it that when a group of Spanish engineers inquired about the name of the place, the local fishermen replied with bias, thinking they were interested in the contents of their fishnets. Getting there takes about an hour drive from the city center to Port Capinahan, where a boat will take you to the heart of Tanyon Strait. What could possibly be a better way to start the day than catching a glorious sunrise at sea, digging into a wholesome breakfast of native chocolate, sweet tropical mangoes, and the local delicacy called bangit, which is dried salty fish fried to crispy goodness, in the company of your family and dearest friends in the middle of nothing but the purest waters. Tanyon Strait is the feeding, breeding, and resting area of 14 species of cetaceans. About 24 species have been sighted in Philippine waters, and those that are frequently seen in Bias Bay are spinner dolphins, pantropical spotted dolphins, melon headed whales, dwarf sperm whales, and the most common, bottlenose dolphins. Dolphins usually swim in packs. So on a lucky day like this one, you don't just spot one or two, but a whole pod. Neither shy nor elusive, the dolphins swim close to the boats and allow guests to enjoy close view. However, people are discouraged to make direct contact or feed the dolphins. As these species are still considered wild creatures, regardless of their innocuous appearances and friendly disposition, From this part of Danyon Strait, it is easy to make a side trip to nearby islands, or better yet, to a 7-kilometer long strip of powdery white sand in the middle of nothing but water. You could choose to rent one of the floating cottages in the sandbar if your group is keen on chilling and basking in the relaxing oceanic atmosphere until the following day. Renting a native cottage overnight shouldn't cost more than 40 US dollars. There's nothing quite like feasting on the freshest seafood, tropical fruits at their ripest, and the goodness of local delicacies in a water bungalow. Except maybe taking a relaxing nap amidst the sound of ocean waters and the cool sea breeze. Or if the sea salt in the air gives you an energy boost instead, then plunge in and snorkel yourself to exhaustion or hop on a kayak and paddle around the sandbar. The best time to visit is in summer or at low tide, as the white sandbar is fully submerged at high tide. Not so far from the sandbar are fishing farms, which have greatly aided in conservation efforts as well as community livelihood. If island hopping is the itinerary of choice, then it would be a good idea to rent a boat for the whole day. Make a reservation with the Baya City Tourism Council for a fee of about 60 US dollars. From the sandbar, venture further north 
towards the Mantalip Reef of Bindoy. Another marine protected area, researchers have been visiting Mantalip Reef for over a decade. It covers more than 100 hectares of a vast array of corals, not to mention the diverse variety of fish that dwell within these waters. A solitary structure standing in the middle of the ocean and close to the edge of the reef is immediately recognized as the Mantalip Reef Inn. This platform has served as a base for marine research through the years and has recently been further developed to accommodate guests and leisure visits. It is a self-catering inn with fresh water and electricity. Two bedrooms for overnight stays and kitchen facilities for those who wish to cook their own food. As proper waste management is strictly observed through these marine protected areas, the floating inn also has its own sewage and wastewater decanting system. It is a perfect venue for families and friends to gather together and spend quality time, with all the worries and troubles of a busy urban life ever so far away. Negros Oriental is indeed a playground for sun, sand, and salt water. But it surely doesn't fall short of rugged terrain worth exploring. About 87 kilometers northwest of Dumaguete City is an interior highland town, better known as a cave town of Negros Oriental. The municipality of Mabinay is said to honeycomb over 400 caves, enticing geologists and spelunkers from all over the world. In 1989, an expedition team comprised of Belgian, Dutch, and Filipino cave researchers did a study and identified 45 such caves. Among these is the Odloman, the second longest cave system in the Philippines, measuring 8,870 meters. It is accessible by rappelling through a hole in the cave ceiling or by swimming across an underground river. One doesn't have to be an extreme spelunker to have an adventure in Mabinay's cave town. There are numerous caves of varying sizes and depths many of which are friendly enough for amateur cavers and anyone who might be keen on exploring an underground world for the first time. Among the most popular ones are the Pandigawan Cave, the Pandalihan Cave, the Crystal Cave, and the Mambaho Cave. The Pandigawan Cave measures about 143 meters long and 22 meters deep. It is one of the caves found in Bulwang's nature park. In the local language, the cave's name signifies courtship. Its dome-shaped interiors, flat ground, and trickling skylight create the most ideal romantic setting. According to locals, these intimate fossilized walls have witnessed numerous marriage proposals. Barely a hundred meters away is another cave that easily welcomes first-time cave visitors. The Pandalihan is 282 meters long. Its obscure beauty can be slowly revealed to those who venture to peel through the layers of its ancient secrets. The third in Bulwang's underground treasures is a crystal cave. An abundance of crystallized karst formations fill the interiors of this 157 meter cave. A myriad of limestone, stalactites, and stalagmites bejewel and illuminate every shadowed corner. If you've been craving for a challenge, the Mambaho Cave does not disappoint. Don't let its name discourage you. It is derived from the local term Baho, meaning foul-smelling. For within its depths dwell large populations of bat species. Serving as a home and refuge through local wildlife makes the Mambaho Cave more inviting to both seasoned cavers and wildlife conservation enthusiasts. However, truth be told, this cave is not for the faint hearted. There are two ways to enter this cave. By rappelling down 18.5 meters from the cave mouth, 
or through a ladder in the receiving area. But where's the fun in that? Choosing the first option means exploring the cave from end to end and going through both passageways, not to mention the added thrill of going through a sinkhole with the rope. But of course, to ensure a good ending to a thrilling adventure, even daredevils observe safety precautions. Anyway, what we have here, two safety systems. You will descend on the static rope, on the white rope. When you're going down, it's to not really go fast. No? Uh, because if you go fast, the friction that's generated will be too high. You know, and then it's going to create a lot of heat. No? And that's not very good for your equipment. The important thing really is to spread your legs you have balance. The critical part really is to trust the equipment that it can actually take your weight. As you let go, step back, gaining your balance. So it's really just as simple as that. Okay. The trick here is to trust the system. Okay? Because uh, the crucial part is really when you're on the ledge and you're you're about to you know let go you know, and let gravity fall. If all else fails, just trust the system. It's been tried, tested, and certified by actual lives. Lo and behold, that is nature's reward after hanging by a rope, conquering any existing fear of heights, and a brief but slippery trek through rocks and mud. A subterranean river flows through the cave northwards into a siphon emerging in the cave's extension. And through the darkness and rocky terrain, Eden is illuminated. Climbing up, doused by the sudden intensity of the sun's rays and a tidal wave of relief and exhilaration, feels like emerging from paradise. Priceless. The Mabinoy Spring Resort offers more rewards with its charming cottages for groups and families and an all-natural spring water for relaxing cool-down. Whether the plan is to rest or play, the resort's facilities welcome guests to pick one or pick all. There's more than enough fun for everyone. There is joy in the tranquility of a lake, and much pleasure in floating, or kayaking, your way through it. Sibulan is much loved and often visited for the Balinsa Sayaw Twin Lakes Natural Park, home of two crater lakes, Lake Balinsa Sayaw and Lake Danao, which are separated by a low, narrow ridge with a viewing tower for guests to perch on and enjoy the view. For less than $8, spend the day exploring the national park grounds with a light trek and a leisure kayak or boat ride across the lake which rises 894 meters above sea level in the company of a helpful park guide. You'd be surprised with the rich biodiversity found within the park, making it a favorite venue for bird watchers. Not too far away, there's a popular stop for travelers craving for a sumptuous meal and a fun dining experience with the view. There are those who seek tranquility and refuge in the embrace of hills and mountain ranges, in the assuring whispers of calm waters. Balanan Lake in Chaton is the largest natural resort in Negros Oriental and offers a natural retreat for the outdoor enthusiast. Guests who wish to commune with nature will enjoy trekking up the 80 degree slope to the 24 hectare lake as well as the 4-kilometer circumferential trail along the lake shore. A tall canopy of banyan trees provides shade, from which several rare bird species perch and the melody of their songs echoing throughout the woods. Balanan Lake is 285 meters above sea level. Many prefer to take a paddle boat or kayak across the lake. The experience of floating across calm waters the air quiet apart from the subtle splash of the paddle or a bird song from a distance is therapy for the mind, body, and soul. A hillside lodge and a 60-foot high treehouse offer the comforts of a natural retreat, so guests need not travel any further to rest and fall into deep slumber. 
Who says one can relax and have an adrenaline rush at the same time? All it takes is zipping from one hill to another, an experience of soaring through the air as you take in a bird's view of the lake and the surrounding flora. Incredible! Do you see this line behind me? That's what they call a zip line. It's only, it's only 330 meters long and just 130? 150 feet. 150 feet off the ground. See these? Just trust the system. Dumaguete is a city with an active pulse. Rizal Boulevard is constantly buzzing with a daily hustle and bustle. That perhaps a sea breeze flows with a distinct gentleness. This iconic road was named after the country's national hero, who had spent a few years in the city. Today, its quaint streets still resonate with a youthful creative energy. sports and activities on its fields, Siliman University has produced some of the most notable creative minds and public intellectuals in the country. It is the birthplace of one of the country's most renowned literary workshops, as well as the home of priceless archaeological artifacts and anthropological research. Its architecture alone evokes a rich history, each window panel and floor tile whispering an untold story. Like a quintessential university town, Dumaguete does not fall short of restaurants and watering holes. The diverse range of residents and constant tourist flux equates to a vast array of options to satisfy varying appetites. If you're feeling rather frugal, you can have your fill from the sidewalk tempura as you sit back and watch the sunset. But if you're up for a gastronomical tour, you can easily hop into any restaurant along the length of the boulevard. Looking for pasta, pizza, and dishes that evoke that rich flavor of the Mediterranean? Dive into Pasta King, an Italian-European restaurant just a few blocks away from the boulevard. Mexican tacos? How about some Japanese sushi swimming in wasabi? Tempura oysters, maybe? Feeling carnivorous and craving for a good steak? Or can't decide? Then hop over to Taco Surf and have it all. Servings are hefty, so remember to take big bites. Perhaps it's a whiff of salt water in the air or all that island hopping that can spawn a massive craving for fresh seafood. If your palate is calling out for chili crabs or a bowl of tamarind soup with your choice of fish or an assortment of meat and vegetables cooked in coconut cream sauce, then head over to Labbas Restaurant. It is located right on the edge of the boulevard, facing the Tanyon Strait. The restaurant's name means fresh in the local town. And this is exactly what its loyal customers expect, and nothing less. If you're thirsty, step outside and get a nice cold beer from Hayahai Bar, where the party starts when the sun goes down. 
groove to the beat of a live band or even share the stage and sing along. You never know who you might meet or share the dance floor with, but you can bet your bottom pesos and all your reggae moves that you will definitely have a blast. Be ready to hop into another bar or club such as Zanzibar and take a flaming shot for the road, or better yet, make it two, or three, or four, or five. And then there's Gabby's Bistro, serving gourmet meals and drinks to visitors as well as guests checked in at Florentina Homes. The Florentina is a charming hotel complex that offers a range of accommodation styles to suit varying budgets. Families can book one of the European-themed apartments. If all the nature tripping, sports and party hopping seems to take a toll on your body, there are several spas and massage centers in Dumaguete City to soothe your aching muscles. At Island Leisure Spa, guests can forget the outside world for an hour or two and neither worries away. Sometimes, the ultimate holiday means sitting right in the lap of luxury. The Antolan Beach Resort in Chaton, south of Dumaguete City, offers its guests the joys of a tropical beach holiday in the comfort and complete privacy of their own villa. Whether you're celebrating an anniversary or just wish to indulge in a romantic weekend getaway, these private villas offer the ideal amenities for couples in need of some good quality time and R&R. They say money can't buy happiness. Perhaps not, but it can sure buy you a gorgeously fun day. If you're surrounded by good friends in the middle of one of the most beautiful tropical islands, what more could you possibly ask for? Except perhaps a chilled bottle of wine and a private yacht for the perfect river cruise? What are the key ingredients to a good life? One ingredient is a hefty serving of fun. And in Negros Oriental, where all you need is sun, sand, and salt water, it all starts here. 